The key feature of the computational modeling laboratory is access from anywhere in the world to supercomputing resources. These reside in the cloud, so you can access the amount of power that you need at the time that you need it. These are used for a lot of different things. Firstly, we use them to do particularly long analyses of neuroimaging data, which might take too long to run on a, on a laptop or standard desktop machine. Even more interestingly, we use them to run computer models of the human mind. So we're running simulations of how the brain works on computers to try and make predictions about human behavior. And then that also extends into some projects run here, which uh, try and give computer systems the capabilities of the human mind, or at least some small part of them. So some projects here are working on artificial intelligence. So building systems inspired by the brain to do tasks that we find quite straightforward, like recognizing everyday objects. But these are tasks that standard computer systems find very difficult. So we're trying to uh, use inspiration from neuroscience to build better intelligent systems. So the picture you see behind me is an animation. Every time a dot appears on the screen, that is one computer simulation finishing. The color of the dot represents the result that it's produced. So the position of the dot in the 3D queue represents the parameters of the model. So there are different ways we can set it up. So as the uh, simulation goes on, we can see that cube filling with dots and that's showing that we're exploring all the different ways the model can behave. Each dot represents for a single normal computer several hours of computation. So one of the essential aspects of Brick here is that we can run very many computers on the same problem. They can run in parallel and we can access, in this case, about a hundred different computers simultaneously um, to run the simulation in something like a few days rather than a few months. I'm Leonard Dome. I am a PhD student in the Computational Modeling Lab at BRIC. I'm concerned with models of human cognition and behavior. And what I do is that I run extensive simulations to try to push them to the limits. So in psychology, we generally run participants and collect data on them. We put people into certain conditions where they have to solve particular problems. Now, I essentially treat these models, which are themselves theories of human behavior and cognition, like they were actual people participants. So I run extensive simulations to see what they can do in certain situations. Brick allows me access to hypercomputing clusters where this kind of process can finish in a humane time. What's really great about this resource is that it's bringing all the labs together. Um, here we've seen PhDs and other research that are based mainly on computational modeling, but it's also an important part of other research going on here. For example, the same sorts of artificial intelligence systems that we're using as models of the human mind are also used to develop uh, procedures and protocols for, for example, the ultrasound lab. They're also used to do very intensive analyses um, for fMRI and EEG. And these are essentially all the same skills. Um, we're using the same tools, but for different ends. And so having this number of people here doing lots of different projects, but with this common methodological theme is a unique advantage of the Brick Center.